You don't want zero problems, big fella. Yeah, yeah. Uh. It is Tuesday night, y'all. We back. One more label I missed y'all last week, but we back it's again, baby. This is the Unfaded Podcast presented to you by BanditBox.com where we listen to you and ignore you all at the same time. That's right, people. It's Tuesday night. Uh, uh. Right here with me, I got L.A. on the show. Say what's up to the people, L.A. What's up, guys? It is L.A. Bailey. I'm so happy to be back with Shay One. What's up? What's up, people? Yes, we got a really good show for you tonight. Uh. As you can hear, this is Chance the Rapper. No problem. Do you want no problems with me? If you want some problems, I guess you came to the right place. So today's show is going to be a little different. Um, we're going to gonna, uh, just basically do this whole thing, I guess, right off the cuff here. Um, we had a question that came in that uh, L.A. wanted to pose. I'm not sure how she wants to do this, but... Uh, well, uh, basically, I was uh, scrolling through Facebook, and I saw a question that was posted on there. It said, uh, let me just read it to you real quick. It said, so let's say you're in a relationship, right? And it says, to the ladies, your hair is natural, but he says he likes women with permed hair, or your hair is permed, but he likes women with natural hair. What do you do? And to the fellas, you have locks, but she wants to shave it off. Or you have to have it, or you have a low cut, but she wants you to grow braids. So what do you do? I mean, my answer already to that is if the guy don't like what my hair is, first of all, if that's such a big deal, you wouldn't even talk to me in the first place. Um, but if that was to come up, it wouldn't even be a question. I would just leave. Right. Well, first of all, most guys, especially when you're approaching women, um, they change their hair so much. It, I mean, how are you supposed to know what kind of hair this person is trying to rock this week compared to next week? I mean, yeah, but I think, I think what she's saying is that, like, say the girl is just all natural. She's not going to be doing the straight hair perms or whatever. She's always going to be natural with her fro and stuff. Or just just her natural curl. She's not gonna change it. Versus the other girl who's never gonna be natural. She's always gonna have a perm, and the guy thinks it's a problem. You so know? so the question is, he wants her to have a perm, basically. He wants her to have straight hair. Right. He is wants that... her to have straight hair. If she's natural. He would prefer that she had straight hair and it was permed, or vice versa. And the same goes for the guys. The guy, you meet a guy, he has dreads. And you're like, you know, I would prefer if you had a low cut. What would you do? I keep it. I would basically keep it the way it is because, I mean, you saw me like this, especially for dudes. I mean, that's kind of a loaded thing for people to put that up there about men and their hair. Because, I mean... Like I said before, women change their hair so much that it just it doesn't matter. It could be straight, it could be uh, weave, it could be whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it changes. So for all he knows is, hey, I'll just put my order in, <laughs> and she'll go ahead and she'll go and change the hairstyle because she's gonna change it anyway next week. I guess. So I guess in terms of the guy, like if the guy has dreads. And she's like, you know, I would prefer a guy that doesn't have dreads and his hair is cut low. Do you think the guy should cut his hair so he? Can she stay wouldn't even. She shit? wouldn't even talk to him. Exactly. Let's be real. She wouldn't even talk to him in the first place. That's why I said the question is kind of like when it comes to the men's side. That's how you know a woman posed the question because it's not even based out of like, in my opinion, on the guy's side. That's not even based out of reality. No woman's going to talk to a guy knowing that she likes low-cut Caesar haircuts and talks to a dude with dress. She's just not going to do it. You get a lot of women that just want to avoid conversation with men, period. So you know that she's not going to talk to some dude that she's not 
even remotely attracted to because think about it. Dreads take a really long time to grow. That's true. So what makes you think as a woman that he's going to cut his hair (laughs) off for you? Exactly. And that's what she's saying. What would make you think that I'm going to now go natural because you like natural hair girls and don't talk to me in the first place then. If that's something that you want, then you should go talk to the girl that's natural. Like I said, <laughs> women change their hair. What if the lady's not that type of girl that changes her hair all the time? I think that's what it's talking about. He, don't, he doesn't know that. I mean, even with the question, this was on Facebook, right? So even with the question, we don't even know how long this person was dating, whomever, for how long. So there's a lot of like pieces missing uh, with this thing to even... Yeah, the only thing we know is that it says if you're in a new relationship. So, I mean, new relationship, I'm thinking like a month. That's pretty much new to me for her to pose that kind of question, right? Yeah, that's fairly new. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's 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 up to her, right? You say it don't change anything. So, hey, the way I see it is... Be yourself, stay exactly the same <laughs> as you are, and if the person leave, they leave. Right. If you ain't comfortable with changing your hair and your style and all of that stuff, then don't change it. Exactly. That person's not down with you in the first place. So I ain't going to even try to uh, shove a circle into a square peg, if you know what I mean. <laughs> right. I'm just, I'm, point, I'm mad at the fact that she tried to twist it around and tried to take it to both sexes. That's what I'm mad at. Because I'm like, hey. But I don't think that, <laughs> she that know. was wrong. I don't think that was wrong for her to pose a question like that at all. I see what she was saying. I mean, you're, you're going to give your, you're going to speak for the loud, loud majority, as you would say. But I think, I understand where she's coming from with posing the question that way. I don't think it was wrong. Uh, it wasn't wrong or anything like that. I'm just saying, hey, you're trying to fit fit the narrative to what's going on with you. Just ask the question. I get it. Well, she asked you to cut your hair off and all of that stuff. Now, I guess maybe going the other way, if you're like trying to grow your hair out and everything and she likes that, I don't It depends on the dude. But I think women know that. I mean, think about it. How often does your man, ladies, change his hairstyle? I rest my case. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Yeah, about twice a year, right? <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> well, like, there's like this one comment on here where he says, there's somebody that commented saying, uh, let her know that she going to get whatever come out this do-rag. <laughs> That was definitely from a guy. <laughs> right. And that could almost be from a lady. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Let him know that whatever come out this hair wrap. <laughs> this satin scarf. <laughs> That's what you're going to get. Like, uh, what's her name? The one that did that music video um, from Parker's. What's this, what's this girl's name? That had on the pink. Um, the pink bonnet? Yes. You're talking about um, Countess Vaughn. Yeah. With that, that awful ass video. <laughs> oh my gosh, that video. <sighs> the friend that thought that she was doing her a favor, I'm real disappointed in that. That's not your friend for her to put something out like that because Countess sounded horrible, looked horrible, the acting was bad, I'm, and then that flash of the butt at the end of the video. <laughs> Yeah, it was ridiculous. Why you come to the door with the pink bonnet on? What what is the bonnet for? Can you explain to me what is what's the bonnet? What well, is that? Let's let's do a little quick education here. Thank the, you. the bonnet Please. is a satin bonnet, so it's supposed to help bonnet. to protect the moisture in your hair. So that way, when you go to sleep, it doesn't you know release all the moisture. You want to keep that in your natural hair. Therefore, you sleep with the satin bonnet, but it's mistaken by a lot of women to wear that outdoors, and it's not an outdoor fashion. It's supposed to be worn inside the home when you're going to be deep conditioning your hair, and that's it. Don't wear it outside. It's not cute, okay? It doesn't matter if you want to match it with your outfit. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't ever, I don't ever think I saw somebody try to match 
their bonnet to their clothes, though. Well, you saw it in that video with Countess. Well, she was trying to look good. She was like, hey, I'm making a video. And the bonnet <laughs> didn't make any sense. Now, I don't know a lot about hair and all that, but she had braids. So I'm like, well, <laughs> this bonnet makes no sense. And then they cut away, and then she got the straight hair, you know, the one where she's trying to do the wine, the wine dance, <laughs> no, but she's in front, or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, dirty wine. <laughs> she's over there dancing in the corner. And she got, I'm like, okay, there we go. That's the weave. That's what you put in the bonnet, right? <laughs> not the, to be put in not the, the braids. You know what, though? They should have put that video in the bonnet and never let it out. That's what they should have did. That joint was terrible. Now, I know that was a while ago, and, and I know the reason we're talking about it is because we recently saw it again. We saw, like, a lot of little reaction videos because, you know, when you ain't got nothing better to do, what do you do? You go to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> right. And look at all the trash that's on there. And next thing you know, it's four in the morning. You're like, damn, I gotta go to work. <laughs> Let me go and sleep for two hours. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that video was, was pretty shade. terrible. I and the funny thing is she could sing. That was that's the sad part. Like she could really sing. So whoever's representing her what need do you <laughs> Do they not even representing themselves by letting her put something out like that. <laughs> well, do you think she can still sing like she used to, like what you heard in that video? I don't think so. <sighs> I think it's just bad song selection, bad songwriting, bad production. Because if you you can make some pretty awful people who can't sing a lick sound good and make a good record. So that's how I know. Uh... That's how I know. Whoever it was, that's like, that's almost like the Britney Spears thing when she came out. After Beyonce, that's like, <laughs> you know, yes, Brittany, we knew you could, you know, do what you did back in the day or whatever, but you know, you got to get the right song, the right track. I sound like I turn around, I got the right song, the right track at the right time. Now I need you to get out there on that stage right now. She might have needed me. <laughs> Basically, hey, <laughs> sure. That's probably what the problem is. That's what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the problem is. You got some boyfriend back there that don't know what he doing. <laughs> Talking like, yeah, girl, take your take your booty out so I can. <laughs> what? I'm talking about the little part where she did a little flash I, I when know. she mooned the camera, oh, and it was a full moon that night <laughs> or that afternoon because the sun was up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Nah, that was horrible, though. I don't know. Countess, whatever's going on, I hope <sighs> she needs to make a comeback, I guess, to, to fix what what happened, the fail. But that video, the, the entire thing was just horrible. And I, I feel really bad for her because when I saw the, the, um, the post that Countess had come out with something, I was like, oh, cool. This should be good. And then I play, and I'm like, "Well, is this supposed to be funny? <laughs> Was this a sketch? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand." Nah, and nah, the, she said, "I'm real with this." The, but That's it didn't even said. make any sense, though. Yeah. It made no sense. The video did not go with what the song was saying. I don't remember what what was it. Don't do down, you do walk you walk away from me? <laughs> like. <laughs> First of all, if you sing to me like that, I'm going to walk away. That's number one. So they should have fixed the voice. I know they got Melodyne, these systems and the, the audio softwares that can help with the voice. And they didn't apply it. Or if, or maybe they did, and it, that's just the best mm -hmm. that they got. I don't, this is so much shade. Oh my gosh. I, you know it's what it was? Nice. <laughs> the dude didn't like her braids. <laughs> He wanted a new hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted a perm. He wanted a perm, so he went out and found one. D right? <laughs> right? And then she was making all those funny faces, too. That was probably another reason why he left, because of the faces. Ooh, she did, yeah. If you have not seen this video, though, guys. I'm, first of all, if I'm you pretty, haven't seen I'm pretty it, sure everybody has yeah, seen this Yeah, if you video haven't seen it, point. I don't know what's wrong, because you need to be a little bit more on social media. But... You know what we're talking about with those faces, like, oh, Countess. I don't know. She tried, and it it did not work. It failed miserably. She got to try again. Right. 
So the next thing I want to talk about is a pretty unique <laughs> uh, situation. I'm actually gonna drop, um, you know, play a clip for you guys here. Oh. Hold on. All right. I'm actually going to drop something in here for you guys to listen to. This little news story. I'm sure a majority of y'all have heard this. I don't know. But if you haven't, uh, you probably got your mouth. You'll have your mouth wide open by the time this thing is over. So there's this dude. Mr. Willie Calhoun. Okay. Now, he began working for McDonald's at the age of 14 years old. Um, back in 1957, all right, Jeez. the man is now what, 73 years old, and he's working at McDonald's. He's worked at McDonald's since he was 14 years old. Now, listen to this clip, all right? It's a dedication a McDonald's employee is honored for his years of service today. Willie Calhoun, or Mr. Willie, as he's known by his friends and customers, started his career at McDonald's 59 years ago when he was just 14. He spent the last two decades at a location in Chambly, mostly working in the kitchen. Oh, what? He's one of the most hardest worker that we have. He's never late. He worked as hard as five other staff members that we have. They've been very nice to me. They let me continue their work here. I never thought about leaving though. Everybody, the crew and everything has been a special day for me. Uh, Mr. Willie says he's grateful for his time and his job at McDonald's and plans to work there as long as he's able. No. no, no, no. Now, I don't, no. don't want to be disrespectful to the elderly, but no. No. is he the last working slave? <laughs> <laughs> He's the last working slave from the 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> He's the last one. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For you to have to be working at McDonald's from the age of 14 to 73, Jeez. that's crazy. Okay, first of all, how do you not own a McDonald's <laughs> after all that time? Okay, they don't, you don't own a McDonald's. Okay, fine. How, how about your shift manager? No? <laughs> Supervisor? But they got, the, they got the damn nerve to bring this man a cake. <laughs> now you know Ronald McDonald should have came out with a five hundred thousand dollar big check. Thank you, Willie, for your service. But hey, slaves work for free. Why we and gotta his pay? His name is Willie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know why that's so funny to me. But they came out with the with the uh, what do you call it? The sh uh, shop and stop uh, cake uh, <laughs> on his lunch break. Because they know, hey, Willie, you're going to only get to eat one slice. But you know we're going to need you to go back here in the kitchen because mm, it's only about to got, be lunchtime. You only got 30 minutes. Hurry up. <laughs> and we got a rush coming in. And we know you're going to do it because you know you've been doing it for the last, what, 59? 59 years? 59 years? 59 freaking years? And you still in the kitchen flipping burgers? Le okay. I need to, I need to calm down. <laughs> I, yes, maybe he wanted he wanted to stay with McDonald's. I get that, but you can't tell me that at some point in your fifty nine years of service that you didn't want to move up once, like come off the grill maybe to the cash register. Somebody told me, hey, maybe he likes flipping the burgers. I'm like, first of all, okay, that's cool if you like flipping the burgers. That's cool. But I tell you one thing, if I'm Willie, I own that uh, at least one McDonald's franchise, and if I like flipping the burgers, I'm flipping the burgers in the McDonald's that I own. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd be flipping the burgers, too. If I own the McDonald's, oh, and that's on. mine, and I get the money, too. Yeah. Now, you're going to come in there, right? Check this out. The dude, if you haven't seen the clip, the dude that owns the franchise is younger than Willie. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I am so annoyed by this video, though. Okay, okay. So, Willie, I'm assuming, has some friends. 
He started working there from 14. And they left his ass at 16 because he wanted to stay Because he wouldn't McDonald's. move. All his friends probably left and went to another company or started their own business. I mean, around that... Okay. People were doing a lot of things at that time. They're doing a lot of things now, but you got to think about that time period. Like, there's so much mm-hmm. change ha- that's happening. And you're telling me Willie's going to stay at McDonald's during that time? <laughs> she was about to cuss. I was y'all. about to cuss. It's <laughs> like it was this close because it really bothers me. For fifty nine years, you have been by a hot ass grill, flipping burgers, getting popped by grills, <laughs> making <laughs> Big Macs. Now, first of all, he he went. He was way back when they actually like use real meat. <laughs> and like an actual grill. <laughs> Not like now with a prepackaged meat. <laughs> oh my All gosh, right. Willie. <laughs> and the dude is up there smiling. Nah, I get it. It's your birthday. Be happy. Hey, maybe some people just want a really simple life. I can understand that, but I, what I want to know is Mr. Willie, do you have kids? Do you have a wife? Did you ever have a wife? Did you ever have a girlfriend? I don't Did know. You ever, I mean, I don't know. Listen, I'm all for starting from the bottom <laughs> with your man, I mean, but 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 you see, came up from the bottom. But, now we right, know. right. But see, there's progress and there's potential. <laughs> and usually, you know, if a woman's with a guy that doesn't have anything in the beginning, if she sees. Stay with me, family. She sees the potential in that man, and she sees the drive behind that potential. She's going to stay with him because she's going to help him get to the next level. You with me? But I don't know if Willie had a girlfriend. Or maybe, no, no, no. Maybe he did because that girl was just like, you know what? Willie go to work on time every day. (laughs) Matter of fact, he's not on time. He's early before his shift starts. He always got his apron creased and pressed right. He always got his gloves, his hair is done. He never got no ketchup stain on that McDonald's no, right? uniform. Right? He made pressed. sure it was clean, put together. His his pants had the crease down the middle, under the front, how they right. used to do it. And she was just like, he's, he's going to be a manager one day. And he's going <laughs> to own the McDonald's one day. She must have been speaking into him. And then she realized after a year... <laughs> A year passed and she ain't get a promotion. Oh, he didn't get a promotion. And she was like, okay, you know, that's all right. You know, these times are hard. Well, we're talking about back in the 60s now, too. But somebody tried to say to me, like, well, maybe he's got a mental issue. or uh, Now, clearly, there's some kind of mental issue. There's something wrong with him for him to be staying that long for 15 years. I hope this dude got a 401k. I was saying to somebody, like, talking about this story, they were saying, well, why would they say he has money in the bank? Why would they say, you know, he's got a retirement? They don't want people to know that. That's a, now, if no. anyone's seen the news, they tell you. They be like, no. and Willie's done very well for himself. He's made great exactly. investments. They didn't say nothing like that. Dude just happy to be just flipping the burgers. And they said, well, the person I was speaking with, they were like, well, back then it was hard for black men to get jobs and everything. I said, I get it. But what happened in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, and the 2000s? There's a lot of growth happening. There's a lot of time in between there. And this dude don't want to be a district manager, manager, anything like that. His girlfriend left. I'm telling you. Willie had a chick. In the beginning. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I don't. I don't she, want I people to did. think like, "Hey, there's something wrong with working at McDonald's." There's nothing wrong working at McDonald's and making yourself a buck. Ain't nothing wrong with that. What I do find fault with, hello, mm-hmm. is not growing. Right. And I mean, d- damn. <laughs> <laughs> Again, McDonald's, y'all need to cut him a check. For real. I would I would almost say black people need to just stop going to McDonald's until Willie gets some money, but hey. <laughs> Go <you're... laughs> fund me for Willie Calhoun. Build a GoFundMe account for Willie Calhoun. Who's they said, Hell to no. say that maybe he did want a promotion and they was like, no, you know, maybe this black man can't be a manager or a district manager or own a McDonald's at that time. Maybe it was like that. I tell but, you one thing: if that was the case, he wouldn't be working there right now. Is that well, if he had yeah. a problem with it? Yeah, 
And if he was saving up that money from then, and you know, he still wouldn't be there for no fifty nine. And then they said that he, like, he's still gonna be there. Like he was like, he wants to stay there as long as, as long as he happen. can. That's why I said Willie is the last working slave <laughs> <laughs> since the eighteen hundreds. I don't think he's seventy three. Okay, I think that is. Harriet Tubman's <laughs> nephew or something. The one that wanted to stay and not mess up. Harriet Tubman's up. nephew wanted to stay, exactly. Harriet Tubman was like, come on, you can leave the plantation. And he's like, no, no, I'm okay flipping these burgers. What I don't want to mess it up. What you mean? We got, we got fresh fries here. We got fresh burgers. What you mean run away and go and get a better job? <laughs> what you mean try to be district manager? What you mean? What's, what's better than here? I'm gonna never be hungry. I got I got a uniform. What you talking about? <laughs> Willie is the last working slave, like I said. Oh, poor ever. Willie. Willie, Willie. I'm about to make a song about Willie. <laughs> Listen, if y'all out there you wanna create a song for Willie, and for those of you, maybe you can create a GoFundMe for Willie Calhoun because I don't know. Something's just wrong with that whole picture. I do I I don't think <sighs> First don't of all, know. black people, we can't take no more L's. <laughs> this, is, this is <laughs> this is a, I, we can't take no more okay like they dug Willie up I felt this is a conspiracy okay somebody dug Willie up out of nowhere and said hey this is the last work it's like, you know what though they could put Willie in a museum <laughs> <laughs> That's how Willie can make some Willie, you can make some money. They can put you in a museum. Last working in slave. The in the wax museum. <laughs> he ain't dead yet. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's what I'm saying. He's the last working slave. They could put Willie in the museum and, and people can walk by and be like, hey. <laughs> 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 Remember when black people used to do everything we told them to do? <laughs> here go, here go one right here. <laughs> people walk by and go, "Wow, look, oh man, I didn't know they made these anymore." <laughs> they don't because he the last one. I, my God, we got slavery. We got some slavery stuff going on today, and there's a lot of people working some low wage. BS jobs, but I tell you one thing: if you're gonna be in a low wage BS job, don't go home smelling like French fries after you've been working there for fifty or whatever something years. Fifty nine, fifty nine. Again, don't get me wrong. Make your money. My mom wasn't even born yet. You know how long that is? Fifty nine years to be just going to the same place, the same time. Flipping them same burgers, knowing you right. got no promotion. There is nothing wrong with flipping burgers. There's nothing wrong with being in the burger business. I'm saying go up. Black people, young black people who are in high school and all of that, I know y'all already know better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure y'all was clowning this cat before we got on the mic here, okay? <laughs> but don't, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna state the obvious. Willie is not the example. Right? <laughs> he is not the example that you need to be looking at. Clearly. All right. I I almost think, well, I ain't going to go that far, but <laughs> I was going to I was going to pick another rapper and say that he was a better example. But I ain't going to go that Weird. far. At least Willie show up to work on time, press clean, ready to go with a good attitude. That's the that's a key right there. That yeah. is a key. However, you got to make moves. If you're going to be that good, you're going to be that sharp, you're going to be on time and all of that, you are obviously better and groomed for something else other than flipping burgers. And if you're going to flip burgers after 54, what was it? 59. 59 years. You better be flipping burgers in your own damn restaurant. Have more than one. See, you see, I'm laughing. I'm kind of mad at the same time. I'm kind of mm -hmm. sad. I'm a lot of things. Listen to this story, okay? I didn't know there was... <laughs> I didn't know there was still, like, the original slaves left. <laughs> That's so shady. I'm sorry, Willie, but come on, man. I... And, and if he has a mental issue, 
which I don't think he does because it, still oh, it's just, I don't know th- if you, if you do Willie if you're out there and you do then I, point is as long as you happy if you are happy cool but for everybody else of sound mind and body <laughs> <laughs> who works and lives in what's supposed to be a civilized Western society, you know, and this is America, all right? I know that may mean a lot of different things for some people, but still, like, right. at some point, you got to be done flipping them burgers. Right. Don't you risk get, don't you risk get tired, Willie? <laughs> flip, stack, flip, stack, flip. Come on, man. <laughs> flipping and stacking. Willie is stuck in. <laughs> you know, even <laughs> even porn stars retire. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know that came out of nowhere. <laughs> wow. Ah, Willie, Willie, Willie. Well, hey, if you're happy for 59 years doing that, then hey, go ahead, Willie. But for me. And the rest of the people I know, that is not acceptable. And we we want to grow and get better and do better things. And right. I'll be owning more than two McDonald's back in 59 years. That was me. But just on the side note, happy birthday, Willie. Enjoy it. You know, what's left of your life. Hey, he was smiling. He was happy. That's all I can say. He was surrounded by some people that actually seem to care about him. And there are people out there who don't have that. So, in that respect, I tip my hat to you. But on the other hand, I wish people would be giving you, like, real respect. I'd rather be here on the mic going, yo, this dude was 14 working at McDonald's. And now he owns, like... 20 McDonald's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Burger chain. Right. So. I yeah. was like, damn, at least one. McDonald's should be ashamed of themselves, actually. <laughs> they shouldn't have brought it. Like I said, bring more than a damn cake. Ronald McDonald should have showed up with a $500,000 big and check. <laughs> and after they gave him that check, they said, okay, Willie, get back on them fries because y'all know he was going to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know he was going to go back to work. Yeah. That's... Oh, Willie. So, anyways, just um, over the weekend, Solange was on Saturday Night Live. I just want to point that out. Um, Her new album, uh, which came out earlier, like, I think late, late September, early October... A Seat at the Table. Now, this album's dope. A lot of people are going crazy over it right now. Um, She's got that song, Don't Touch My Hair, because you know how black women don't like people touching their hair. Exactly. Don't Touch My Hair. (laughs) Nothing? She don't got nothing to say about Don't Touch My Hair. Because I don't got to say nothing. Don't Touch My Hair. Enough enough said, huh? (laughs) She didn't need a whole three minutes or a song. I don't know why such a fascination, like fashion, wow, fascination, fascination, fascinista. Ah, yeah, it's such, it's so fascinating to people. Like, oh wow, does it grow like that? It grow your head like that? Yes, man, it grows out my hair just like that. Don't touch it. Now you don't see me going over there playing jump rope with your hair. So don't touch my hair. Well, you know, black hair is a unique thing. I know, but. Don't touch it. I'm not saying touch it. Don't please don't go out and touch people's hair. That's listen to the song. Don't touch my hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you also got cranes in the sky. That's the other single. Both videos are like super artistic, nice, beautiful uh, pieces of art. Um, I do recommend going out and just go on YouTube. Check those videos out at least. At minimum. Or go buy the thing. Now, what I'm most happy about is finally Solange is stepping out of the shadow of her big sister, Beyonce. Right. That's major. Because for a minute there, I was... Solange was, to me, in my mind, was almost like a joke. But, I mean, what do you expect? I mean, your sister is Beyonce. Yeah, it's it, that's kind of a hard place to be. I mean, because Beyonce is just this 
as they say, queen bee. And you're the sister and you're trying to do something, you know, for yourself and your music career. Mm -hmm. I I can't understand why that would be so hard. And, And just like how you say, you thought it was a joke kind of when you heard about Solange doing some music. I was just like, oh, Solange doing yeah, something. She okay. did that that bad Bring It On sequel or whatever. <laughs> she was man. She had a she had a rough 10, 15 years of this music business thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, it just wasn't working. Then all of a sudden she popped up out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. She dropped and. It on I was like, wow. I was like, okay, well, let me let me put something up. So I put something up on Bandit Box, written by Shay One. As you can see, most articles are written by me because I'm, you know, I'm that good. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I put both videos up there. Go to BanditBox.com. You'll see her on there. But um, if you're interested in being a writer for BanditBox.com, go ahead, send us an email at BanditBox at gmail.com. We're looking for writers who can cover uh, music, obviously, film, live concerts. Uh, We can do some things, get you into some shows to cover it. Now, you actually got to do some work (laughs) a little bit. At least look at the show and tell us what happened and why it happened. But it's also fun. So if you're interested in uh, you know, writing some articles, hey, we're definitely down with checking you out. Uh, send us an email with some of your work. We'll see what you could do. But basically, um, on that SNL performance, uh, there was like a, a Eclipse thing in the back. I don't know if you saw this, L.A., but it was pretty cool. It was like, um, it reminded me a lot... It was like a mix between like I don't know Frank Ocean, D'Angelo, and Bjork, but then it, of course I felt a little Beyonce in there, but that could be because she looks so much like her sister in the face. Yeah, when I first saw the video, I was like, <laughs> well, "Wait, Beyonce?" Yeah, I was like, "Is that Beyonce?" Oh, and then I was like, "Oh wait, no, that's Solange." And you know, I had to catch myself because every time I see her, I'm like, "Oh, Beyonce's sister." Sometimes I don't ever say her name, but. The way she came out with this new album is like now you have to actually say, listen, Solange is doing her thing. She's in her own space, and I really respect her for that. She did a great job on the album. Her videos, as you said, are very artistic, I, and I love that. I love the, the way she thought about it and what she put right. down, and I, it was really good. But her sister, her sister's kind of doing the same thing a little bit with the, with the Lemonade thing. It's a little more extreme, but... Solange, keep doing what you're doing because Definitely. I'm not saying you're going to catch up with your sister, but I will say this. We're going to stop mentioning your sister's name when right. we talk about you if you keep it up. So, Yeah. Um, also, her sister came out and supported her, Tina, and, um, and her uh, brother-in-law, Jay, came down to right. Saturday Night yeah. Live. That was nice. You know, that was nice of them. There's not too many elevators in that building. <laughs> So there was no problems. We didn't hear nothing about that. So apparently the family's cool. As long as they ain't in elevators with each other, they all right. <laughs> it's so, so it's all it's all good. It was a, it was a nice it was a family affair. <laughs> Minus the domestic violence. <laughs> There's no elevators in the building. <laughs> All right, so that is it, people. Thank you for listening to the Unfaded Podcast, where we listen to you and ignore you all at the same time. That's right, people. Uh, Unfaded Podcast presented to you by Bandit Box. Uh, my co-host, L.A., tell them where they can find you, L.A. You can find me on Facebook at L.A. Bailey, and you can also check out Closet18.com. Yeah. So you can go see all our yeah. T-shirts there and check out our blog. And you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at ClosetXVIII. That's right, Closet18, baby. <laughs> yes. Ow. Yeah, so uh, you can also find Bandit Box everywhere as well on Instagram, uh-huh. Facebook, Twitter. You can find us at the dot com. That's B A N D D E D B O X dot com. Use the at symbol. You can find us, people. Also, continue to follow us. We're going to have another episode for you next week. We expect to have S. Marie back with us. Woo-hoo! 
We're gonna do this whole triple thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's right. So, um. Uh, it's all getting nasty. Oh, God. <laughs> all right, y'all. See you next week. Peace. Peter Pablo, take your shirt off. Way run your head like a helicopter. I ain't putting no in. All you do is smoke tobacco. Where the hell you get them from? You